Well, thank heavens, it's finally stopped raining. It's been wet and windy here for the past week, 10 days or so. And it's not just, you know, a little bit of uh, wind and rain. It's been quite a lot of wind and rain, so much so that the Met Office, which is the, the government agency here in the UK that kind of monitors all of the weather, had issued several uh, severe weather warnings for this part of the UK. And this is the first time I've been out since they've issued those weather warnings. And I can certainly see it on the roads that all of the, the branches and the leaves and everything have been blown down off the trees and making cycling a little bit difficult. Today I'm riding my Escute Nichuno, which is actually an e-mountain bike. And I'm riding it because uh, I want to do a little bit more testing on it. And um, I've also got a route that I'd like to do that takes in a couple of really steep hills. And I just want to see if I can do it on an e-bike before I attempt it on a normal muscle bike. Well, that's straight in with the first of these little steep, sharp climbs. And this particular one is just out the back of the village of Charlton, which is only about, well, according to the computer, it's eight kilometers from where I live. And it crosses a, a little chalk ridge, which is in the heart of the South Downs here. Um, and so far, I'm quite impressed with the motor on this bike. It got me up there quite easily. Now I've tackled it from the other side on a normal muscle bike and that was tough enough. So uh, I'll be interested to see how it deals with the next climb, which is much, much worse. In order to get to the next climb, I've got to go over what I call Bevis's Thumb, uh, which is actually one of my favorite climbs. If you're looking for it on Strava, it's sometimes called the Little Green Climb. And it's just near the village of Compton in West Sussex. Now I normally climb this on my muscle bike. And it's one of my favorites because it's quite a tester starts off nice and gently but it soon kind of just wears you out as it goes up to about four or five percent and goes on for about two and a half kilometers but thankfully today I'm on an e-bike and I've got the motor Well, that's very interesting. Like I say, I go up that climb quite a lot on my regular muscle bike. So I've got a pretty good idea of what it feels like. But going up on an e-bike today, I would say didn't feel that much difference. I put probably the same amount of effort into it. And all the motor did was just help me get up there a bit quicker.
So here we are at the foot of today's monster climb. It's just outside the village of West Marden and it's the road that links the village with Rowlands Castle and it's just as you leave the village it starts climbing and it just goes up and up, gets tighter and tighter uh, and it tops out probably at about 17% I would say. Now today will only be the third time I've ever climbed up this hill and the first time was back when I was younger, fitter and considerably better looking back about 25 years ago and in those days um, the first time I did this climb I, I didn't really know what was coming up and I think I was a bit surprised at how steep and how long it was and consequently I got about three quarters of the way up uh, and had to get off and walk. The next time I attempted it was back in 2015 and I was fairly fit then because I'd just ridden from here in Hampshire to Paris and back and it was only a couple of days after I got back so I was super stoked and that time I did manage to get all the way up. Both times of course were on a regular muscle bike um, but it's going to be interesting to see how I do today. Right, so I'm on a little go-to now so I can try and talk as I'm climbing up. The reason I uh, stopped by the side of the road a little earlier was because I wasn't 100% sure I'd be able to talk while I was actually going up here, but here goes. So far it's not too bad. 8%, that's pretty manageable normally. But this bend here is the tough bit. Lowest gear, highest motor. Oh, and that pothole didn't help. Thirteen percent. Fourteen. 17% Oh my word even on an e-bike with full power in the lowest gear that was extremely tough I think I'm gonna have to be a lot lot fitter and a lot lot lighter before I even think about attempting to ride up there on my regular muscle bike. The good news is that from here on in, apart from one little climb, it's pretty much downhill all the way home now. That was the last of today's climbs. Good old White Hill coming out of Finchdean to Horndean. And that's a pretty tough one. Again, it's one I've done many times on the muscle bike and it's a toughie. I wouldn't say it was any easier today though. Maybe I'm just unfit. You probably noticed that I'm riding today using just trainers and flat pedals and that's mainly because uh, when I do ride this bike if I see a little gravel track or an off-road track I can just take it and not being that an experienced mountain biker gravel biker I think I just want the added security of knowing that I don't have to think too much about taking my feet out of the pedals when the ground gets a little bit rough and in case I fall off. Well there we go, that's today's ride done and dusted and 29 kilometres in the bank of fitness. And as for Captain Calculator and the Strava Police, well you can sleep soundly tonight because I will be marking this down as an e-bike ride so I'm not stealing any of your PRs or KOMs even though I seriously doubt that you'll ever ride any of these segments. But there you go, not a bad ride, uh, quite good fun. 
and if you'd like a few Jedi mind tricks to help you get up real climbs on a muscle bike then watch this video just here thanks for watching